Hello, welcome back to Michael Hoppen Gallery and today I have great pleasure in introducing you to the wonderful British photographer Richard Leroyd who made this fantastic piece uh, behind me. You may have heard the expression camera obscura or translated dark room and it's a very early principle of, of photographic technology that was used by painters many years before photography came to uh, fruition and it involves uh, a lens it involves a dark room and at the back of that room one would either put film or have a piece of glass that one could look at and painters could paint from life in a sense. What Richard does is create this large camera obscura, it's, it's huge, in a room and instead of using film or glass in the back of the camera he puts paper. This paper went out of production many years ago, it's called Cibachrome or Ilfachrome and Richard was smart enough to buy what was left uh, at the factory in Switzerland. By using this paper in the back of the camera, he removes one of the elemental parts of photography, which is the negative, which allows that picture to be reproduced again and again. In this particular case, there is no negative. Each piece is pretty much unique. And the image is brought from the lens, or from the studio, through the lens, onto the back of the paper, which Richard then processes in the studio. It's an incredibly complex, but also very beautifully and very simple process that Richard has created and part of his, uh, his talent is understanding the technology, managing the chemistry and also being able to create beautiful pictures. He makes portraits, nudes and still lifes and in this particular case it's a wonderful photograph of some poppies. Poppies have a very particular quality to them, they live and die vicariously in a, in a very beautiful and very, very fragile uh, sense and I think Richard is very interested in the process of life and how life comes and goes and in this particular case you can see these flowers are just beyond their best moment but it's that process of freezing time or photographing movement or photographing something as it's about to fail or die that makes the photograph that he that, that he takes so interesting. I just said uh, Richard takes photographs, in fact that's incorrect, he makes photographs. Most of us take photographs with our phones and cameras. Richard makes a photograph, he's in charge of every aspect of the process. And it's through that that we see this mastery of the chemistry and the paper and the image making itself. I would urge you to actually come and see this picture because of course only seeing it on a screen means that you've only seen a screen. This is a, a mere reference that you're looking at now. And if you come to Masterpiece next week, you will see this picture on the wall on our stand. And I hope you will understand then how extraordinary what Richard is doing is. There is nothing between the object and the paper apart from the lens. There's no grain, there's no negatives, there's no screen. And the closer one gets to these pictures, the more lifelike, the more beautiful, the more life-enhancing they become. And so, I would urge you to at least come and have a look at the picture. His work is on display for the week. Uh, you may have seen his work in the past in the Victorian Albert Museum or the Getty Museum in Los Angeles or indeed at some of the art fairs where Richard shows. He's a brilliant photographer, a brilliant realiser of images and a great creator of the object which is what we're looking at here. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to what I have to say and I look forward to seeing you, I hope, at the Masterpiece Art Fair in London next week. Thank you. Goodbye.